Hey everybody, hope you have an awesome day. We're back here in Dragonvale and the Roar of the Rift event is almost over. We got 15 minutes left here on the three days that we get to collect our magic. Uh, and you can see the island or the rift that was open is gone and we're left with the rift gate, this little island here, uh, which is just given prizes right now for a couple of weeks. And then we'll see what happens, what is added to the game, what the rift gate is all about. And you can get all the info on it right here, but it sounds like it's going to be pretty cool. It may involve dragons or food or gold to get to the, the rift if we are going to some other area. Uh, or it may involve new dragons. I'll have to wait and see. It sounds pretty cool. But I've spent all the magic I collected uh, during this event. And right now we can only get prizes from the Omni tier as all the other tiers are expired. But I'm going to go through the dragons uh, for this event because I did get all the Rift Dragons, uh, which was my main focus. And I'm going to go into the Dragonarium and show you all the Rift Dragons in the Dragonarium instead of going through the park and buying dragons and leveling them up and all that. This will be a quicker way of checking out all the Rift Dragons. So let's start with the Air Rift Dragon. Uh, it's Air and Rift. All these dragons have a Rift element uh, and then they add their uh, respective elements. So there's the Air Rift Dragon and the Juvenile and the Adult. And then we got the Alpen Glow Dragon, which you can still get for the next 15 minutes. <laughs> and there's the three ages of the Alpen Glow Dragon. Next is the Blightwing Dragon, Fire and Air plus the Rift. And those are three ages right there. And we got the cold dragon with the three ages. And next is the earth rift, which is a pretty cool looking dragon. And the fire rift, which is an okay looking dragon. I'm not too thrilled about this one. It's got nice colors, but it's kind of a weird looking dragon, but it's still kind of cool with all the rift effects on it. And the Lightning Rift Dragon. And the Metal Rift Dragon, which is very cool. I like the Metal Rift Dragon. It's an awesome dragon. Although it doesn't have any wings, so <laughs> I kind of like dragons with wings. And here's the Plant Rift Dragon. One of the first Rift Dragons that were available in the first tier. And the Snow Squall Dragon which I believe you can still get in the Omni tier. And the Spore Dragon, which is a very cool dragon. I think this is my favorite dragon. I like this dragon. And the Water Rift Dragon is a cool looking dragon also. A little more simple than the other dragons. And last is the Voltaic Dragon. A Voltaic. I don't know if I pronounced that properly, but there's a Voltaic Dragon, uh, another awesome looking dragon. And then of course the Dark Rift Dragon, which was already here, right there, but it did change for this event. They added the Rift effects. And the Light Rift Dragon also, which got the Rift effects added to it as well. So those are all the dragons, that the new dragons that were with this event. There was other dragons that were available also that you could get. Um, also was the Gargantuan Island. That was another uh, focus of mine that I wanted to get. And the Gargantuan Island is right down here. Just to give you an idea how big this thing is. Um, that's it. Totally zoomed out. And I still can't get the whole thing in the screen. And you got a bit of space here on the left and right and a bit on the bottom. So I'm not sure what I'm going to put in this island yet. But it does hold quite a bit of stuff. There is a regular island. You can fit that in the screen zoomed out. Uh, and the Gar Gargantuan Island is... I would say it's Gargantuan. It's, it's bigger. It's a huge island. So lots of space there, which is awesome. And then, of course, I got a few pedestals, which are over here. Just managed to get a few pedestals. You can see them right here. There's the Voltaic Pedestal, Alpen Glow, and the Spore. 
and the blight ring. That's all I had magic for was just those four pedestals. So once the event ends, which is in 10 minutes now, uh, all the magic that I have, which is here in the social menu, I did get a lot of magic from all uh, the awesome friends. As you can see here, I got a thousand, a thousand, two thousand, one thousand, three thousand, one thousand. There's lots of magic there. That's going to be converted into food. It's too bad I couldn't use more of that uh, for this event. It would have been nice to buy more more things in this event. But overall, it was a good event. Uh, I did max out each and every day, including the Double Magic Weekends. Uh, it was unfortunate there was the thousand day camp uh, or the thousand day max. Uh, so I couldn't add any of the magic that I got from the rewards, the daily rewards to my max and go over the max. Uh, that wasn't possible for this event. Uh, also, I couldn't breed any of the dragons, which was also very disappointing. It would have been nice to try and breed some of the dragons. That would have saved some magic and could have used that magic for some other things. Um, also, the time limit prize tiers, uh, I wasn't too keen on. It would have been nice to have them all available at the end so you could pick and choose what you wanted. So whatever I didn't get uh, for this event, hopefully I can uh, get it uh, during the Bring Him Back event at the end of the year or use a wish uh, to get some of the items I didn't get. And also the games uh, for this event, which was the, the spinning wheel and the drag and drop, uh, they were pretty limited. It would have been nice to have a few other choices of games. Uh, I used the drag and drop. That was my preference. I was able to get more uh, magic on average than I would with the, the spinning wheel. Uh, and also three days to collect magic at the end of the event. Uh, it's like cut in half or less than half than what we used to have. We used to get seven days to collect the magic. So it would have been nice to get a few more days to collect a bit more magic and buy a few more things in the park. But a lot of things changed for this event. But we have the Rift Gate here to look forward to in a couple of weeks. So we'll see what that's all about. So that's it for this video. I hope you got lots of magic and was able to get lots of prizes in this event. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like or a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos on Dragon Dale. We'll see you guys next time.